been a while since I've done one of these videos where I talk about more than one game in a single review, and I think uh, Big Potato is probably an apt uh, company to produce a review for these games here. They're all party games, they all play roughly between two and a bunch of players, because you can kind of add more players if you want to these games, even if they don't say so. Uh, we have three games here we're going to be reviewing. The first one is uh, Big Potatoes Pizza. We have the MTV Music Throwback Game, and then we've also got Office Space the Game. Office Space the popular movie in which, well, you saw disgruntled employees at an office having to deal with office-like things. It was a wonderful movie back in, I think, the early 2000s? No, late 1990s, one of the two. Yeah. If you could just go ahead and make sure you do that from now on, that would be great. Uh, all of these themes are obviously going to be based around party games here. The first one, the MTV game, you're going to be trying to dedu deduce uh, words from songs. So like, buy would be a word in the song. You have to think of oh, what would be a word with buy in it. Like, bye, 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 or something like that, right? That might be one of the songs. You'll do this head to head with players, and then you'll move into this round of kind of salad or celebrity, depending on what you've heard of in the different types and you'll be like guess grabbing one of the cards and you'll be doing one of three different things i think it's like lyrics you can do other songs or you can say one word so for instance i might say uh poker and for this card here and if you guessed lady gaga that would probably be a good guess or i could also perform the song in some way or even hum it and so it has this like little charades feel to it uh and you're going to be doing a bunch of different mtv uh, celebrities and songs and you'll be doing charades with those and doing head-to-head team-based combat in the MTV game. Office Space is a party game that you literally play in an office. I guess you could play it pretty much anywhere, but for the most part it's going to work in an office setting. This is going to be one you give to um, someone like my wife who works in an office setting. Basically, players are going to get a certain number of challenges, kind of uh, like the game You Got Got or Don't Get Got by Big Potato as well, but for an office. Uh, it also includes Milton Stapler. If you know the reference from the show, I think you'll uh, you'll appreciate that. Players will get five cards and the Stapler card. They'll attempt to try and steal Stapler from players' desks to complete challenges. They need to complete three in any order. If you get caught trying to complete a challenge other than the, other than the Stapler one, then you can suffer some consequences, but you need to get three. If you can do that, then you'll win the game. And then we have the pizza game. Pizza is fairly straightforward. It's a deck of cards. You flip them out. looks like a piece of pizza. You try and guess words based on the letter or categories based on the letter. So for instance, if it says like in the cinema and it was the letter D, I might think of the movie Dogs, right? And if I say that, and that's the correct answer, I can take this card. They have different they have different difficulty levels, and I'm forming a pizza three, two, one tier. The three can be the lowest category, the easiest. Uh, then you move on to the yellow, and then finally the most difficult, which is going to be the red. Red will count for all of them, but green will only count for the bottom layer. You get the idea. Flip over a new one, a new one pops out, and I'll show you these all down below. Uh, attempting to guess the different categories based on letters using a singular word or words, depending on what it's asking you to do. If you form your pizza first, you win. These are all little party games. We'll discuss each one of them down below. I'll show you what, it come, what they come with. We'll give each one of them a unique review on this video. So I'll have timestamps so you can see each of the different reviews. If you want to go to a specific one, it's down below, link in the description. Let's go ahead and show you down below what they all look like, what they come with, and then I'll have the timestamps ready for the reviews if you just want to skip to those parts down below. A quick top-down overview for all three games, actually. We have the MTV game here, we've got the Office Space game, and then Pizza over here in the corner. We'll talk about them, I guess, from the middle, and we'll just go to side to side here. Office Space, like I said, is very much like Don't Get Got, which is actually funny because it gives you a free mini game in here for Don't Get Got, but you can actually purchase the Don't Get Got game on their website, or I believe even on Amazon. And that one is a wonderful game. Monique uh, from Show Me How to... No, uh, from Before You Play. <laughs> does a great review for that game specifically, but this one comes with that, which is nice. Office Space functions like that game, but for an office setting, like I said. Everybody's going to get one of these Office Space red cards. They basically say you need to steal the stapler from the person that has it. It's very straightforward. These are all challenges, right? And everybody's going to get five of these guys secretly uh, face down so nobody else knows what they are. Now, they could be something like hide this card under a player's chair and get them to find it. Or it could be something like get a player to bring 
bring you a hot drink or hide this card in the printer and get a player to find it. So there's multiple different challenges that you are going to be doing at an office. Tell a player that you've got something in your eye and get them to check it. Uh, and if you can do these, you'll simply say, oh, I got you. I got this challenge completed. Get three of them and you win the game. It comes with a stack of playing cards and, of course, these. The little mini don't get got game and uh, the rules, along with the stapler, which actually has a little squeaker attached to it as well, which my dog loves. <laughs> Over here, we have the MTV game. This one here is going to come with a board, a set of head-to-head -head cards, and these artist cards, which you're going to shuffle up when, when you go to deal them out, right? To begin the game, you're going to set up two teams of as many people, I suppose, as you would like, and then you're going to set up pairs. So the first pair against the two teams are going to play head-to-head. -head. You'll flip over a card. Then you're going to look for, or try and pronounce, say songs that start, have the, the word love in them. What's, what's love got to do with it? The meaning of love, um, I will always love you, all these songs, right? And you'll use this little timer that's going to give you a 15 seconds to guess. So you'll do, okay, what has love got to do with it? Bam, and they'll hit it, and the next player is going to go back and forth until a player can't think of a song with the word love in it, in which case that player loses. The other player will draw nine of these cards once they're in a deck, choose three of them, pass them over to the other player, they'll choose three and discard the other three. Then you'll see this board here, and the board's actually going to have these little tapes here for each side. And you're going to do this charades or salad bowl or celebrity style game in which you're going to try and say things with a single lyric or with uh, the performing. So there's the way you can say Cobain if you're trying to get them to think of Nirvana or money for nothing and the chips for free. So you could even say wrong lyrics to something like Dire Straits. And then you could do uh, da 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 just like for Blink 182. And you're going to be trying to, you have 30 seconds, you'll hit this thing down for two seconds. It'll give you more time and you can steal your opponents as well well. And you'll just kind of go back and forth between the different members of the teams uh, against duos in which whoever scores the most points at the end of the game is the winner. Moving over to here for the pizza game. This is a pretty straightforward party game. It's got dexterity involved. Players are going to play competitively, free for all. You're going to shuffle this deck of cards here and then you're going to have a deck with the words here on the top and the different uh, values, whether it be the easiest, next to easiest, and the hardest. And then, of course, every single one's going to have a back with letters on them. And what you're going to do is take three cards and put them on the sides here. Players are just going to start guessing a word with double letters, and it has I, Igloo, right? Two O's. So you'll take this and you'll add it to your tableau. And then a new card's going to come out. We're going to take this and flip it, which changes the different categories. Um, dog breed, and you'll have a W. If you can think of a dog breed with a W. Or African or American states, which is going to be a W, maybe Washington, right? And you would take this. This is actually a red, which means it can go on the top of your pizza if you haven't, if you've already built the bottom layers. Uh, and then flavor of ice cream with a T, maybe taffy. I don't know. Tr 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 something. I don't know. Tiramisu? That'd be a flavor of ice cream, I suppose. And eventually, whoever is able to build their pizza first is the winner of the game. And actually, I got a little example of what a pizza is going to look like. And because the decks are always going to be different, let's see if I can bring this guy in for you. There you go. You're always going to have this little pyramid here. These can be greens. These can be yellows or greens. And this can, uh, sorry, yellows or reds. And this can be only red. If you build this pizza before anybody else, because it's a dexterity, it's a quick thinking game, you're going to win. You shuffle these guys up and deal them all out again. Obviously, as you can see, there's a ton of different categories and all the letters will be different. So you're always gonna be looking at different letters and different categories. You probably will never see the same one twice in the game. That's pretty much what's included for all of them. I'll get rule books and boxes. Let's come up and we'll review each one of them in order from how I explain them. Three unique party games to review. They're all different in their own way. And I guess we're just gonna break them down. Now, these are all by pick potato games like I said uh, something unique with big potato is whenever I get boxes from them it's always wonderful it's always a nice surprise I, I think I have this one here to show you guys that's kind of interesting it's a, got a little pizza box and it opens up and then there's your slice of pizza very well done they all come with like stickers and stuff too sometimes I get a little big potato plushie which is super cute they do an excellent job boxing these games I always like unboxing these are probably my favorite games in the world to unbox because they really put a lot of time and effort into making it look nice uh, all right, so let's discuss Office Space. Office Space is much like Don't Get Got, which comes with a mini Don't Get Got in the game, which I guess makes sense, right? You're trying to complete challenges. Now, there already is a challenge to this game. We're, we're suffering during a pandemic right now, or we're in a pandemic right now. And because of that, it's gonna be challenging to play an office game with the lack of offices available with people, everybody's working from home. But 
to celebrate when you do go back to work, this would be a good game. If you have an office space like like my wife does, this would be a good game to have because everybody's got their own little rat cubicles. <laughs> They're all separated in. And <laughs> I'm just kidding. But you know, you know what I'm getting though. They all have their own areas, right? And they're going to have their own spaces for the stapler, right? And every there's going to be printers, there's going to be scanners and copiers or all these things that you can utilize when playing this game. Now, I already kind of knew how this game was going to function based on the fact that I played Don't get got and this is similar playing this game at home is a little more challenging but i think we got the gist of it nonetheless and i think just me explaining it to you you'll get the idea as well the differences between the two games is obviously it's an office space setting it has the theme of office space and there are some cards that are like uh, the movie give you some nostalgia obviously it has the stapler these cards specifically must require you to take the stapler from somebody and when you get caught with a card you lose it except for this one here and if you can get three challenges you win it's a game you can play with friends in the office as you do your work now will it distract you from work maybe your boss might not like it but that's why you try and hide it. The only thing they're going to see is the office space stapler. So it probably will be none the wiser, right? As you're hiding a card underneath somebody's chair, right? Or if you're a boss, I suppose you can just play it with your employees and you can't get in trouble because you are the boss. Maybe you call it a team exercise. That'd probably be something you could do. I think that'd be uh, an enjoyable, you can, you can, you can use it as a collaborative experience whenever new employees come and pick up office space, the game. N the next game is MTV, the awards, right? And basically this is a game from the late 90s when I was a kid. <laughs> Imagine music videos being on MTV. They don't exist now, but when they were there, it was amazing. That was probably one of my favorite uh, t uh, channels to watch back then and probably yours as well if you're my age, in the 30s. And they have, t they have tons of great music videos. And this is kind of a blast from the past. And it has all my favorite categories in it. I was a big MTV buff, and so this game's going to resonate with me. If you like games like Celebrity or Salad Bowl or Charades or whatever, where you're attempting to one word answers or act out or perform the lyrics of a song. If you like late 90s, early 90s songs, and even up to the 2000s, like it has Lady Gaga in there, you're going to dig this game. The head-to-head -head challenge is fun as well and gives you a slight advantage, but it doesn't necessarily take away anything from the game as far as your chances of winning in the second round. Basically gives you an advantage of choosing the cards you want and knowing what your opponent has and the ability to steal their cards. And so you go back and forth playing in a team manner. You could play with as many players as you'd like and the game's always going to be different because different players are going to remember different artists with their different songs. Not everybody's going to say bye 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 with the and, and sit Backstreet Boys, whatever, whatever one that is. And so, you know, they're going to be basically trying to perform the different songs and so you're always going to have a different variety of songs that can come out uh, it's got the little timer which is nice too with the different settings on it the cards are pretty straightforward the board's pretty straightforward with its spaces overall fun game it's going to resonate with people who enjoy mtv and the music from that time my grandfather's probably going to have no idea any of these bands and people that are probably like 19 won't have a clue but maybe it's a good way to to educate them about good music right i, I think you'd agree and then finally we have pizza pizza here. This one is a deck of cards with categories and letters and they flip these guys over and you fight to the death. And you're just guessing categories. My cousin hates this game. Uh, I think it's probably because she lost. But this is a wonderful game. I really enjoyed this one. You're flipping the cards over. You're trying to guess the categories based on the letters. The letters are always different. Even if the categories come up the same again, you're not going to have the same results or same answers. It's quick thinking. It's deductive. And people are going to be arguing. It's a lot of fun. I really enjoy it. Uh, this is probably my favorite of the three. I'm trying to think of a kitchen tool that begins with the letter Z. It's, it's, it's going to be pr pretty challenging. Sometimes the challenges don't match up with the colors, I suppose, of this game. A kitchen tool that begins with the letter uh, S as a scooper, as ice cream scoop. I don't know if it counts or not. You'll be you'll be doing that as well. Kind of like how you do with Scrabble. You'll be going, oh, is that a word? Is that actually something that is categorized in this specific category? It, it's fun. It's really enjoyable. It's really quick. Most of these games, all of these games are rather quick. One of them, the office game you play throughout the day. I, I, I highly recommend any of these, but they're all niche, right? If you're interested in games that involve words, if you like a, if you like Scrabble and Boggle and those type of things, but you want something that's going to be a, a little more party friendly with more players, then Pizza is definitely going to be one of them you want to pick up. Office Space is going to be very, very niche. It's, it's don't get got in an office 
and don't let your boss find out unless you are the boss, all right? <laughs> and then the other one, the MTV game, is probably people of my generation or people of my generation educating the, the, the youth or trying to get grandma and grandpa to, to get a little more hip on the times. Solid games all around, definitely ones to consider. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section if there's something you want to pick up, which one and why. Do any of these games resonate with you off the space for the theme, the style of Don't Get Got, and of course the movie MTV because of the show and all the different reality TV shows that are out now and the nostalgia of what music videos used to be in the past when it was, in my opinion, good. And then finally, the pizza game. The crazy people like my wife who are very good with the words and, and like to, to beat me out. Check them all out. Big Potato Games is down below. Link in the description for all these games to go ahead and pick up if you're interested in them. All great in their own unique way. Let me know. All right, guys, thank you for watching the Unfiltered Gamer review of these three wonderful games you can go ahead and pick up down below by Big Potato. Thank you guys for sending me the games. I appreciate it, and I hope that people that see this video that are interested in the games pick them up. You can also check out our website, unfilteredgamer.com, blog posts and giveaways, Kickstarter lists, all kinds of great stuff. We have our Christmas guide currently up every week on Wednesday, today actually. We have a live stream at 6.30 p.m. PST on Facebook, on our page. You'll find a link in the description, and you can join us. We give away games. We have a lot of fun on there. We'd like to have fun with you as well. That's all I got for you this time. And as always, I look forward to seeing you guys next time.